you're not for me. You're not for me. You're not for me. And those were the words that the man I really wanted to be with was saying to me at the time. And I know many of you relate to this, feeling rejected, feeling unloved, feeling unwanted by someone that means the world to you. Now, many of you already know my story and I will put the links down below in the description for those of you that don't. My personal relationship story with my specific person who I am with today. And I asked him the other day, do you remember when you used to say to me, all those years ago, you're not for me? And he said, yes. And I said to him, you know, I think that would make a really good topic and a, for a bit of discussion for a YouTube. And so I asked him to give me his thoughts about it and to perhaps share his point of view on this as it was incredibly difficult for me at the time and was a time that I was still learning and not fully understanding what it was that I was doing or saying or how I was being that was repelling this wonderful man. So he kindly typed me a WhatsApp message so that I could read it to you from his point of view. Now, this might help some of you that are at the moment feeling rejected, broken hearted, missing somebody and really, you know, just in the suffering of that because it is a suffering when you hear those words in whatever way. You know, I don't wanna be with you. I think we should just be friends. Uh, I don't want to continue. I'm not really ready for a relationship. You know, we hear these words, you're not for me in different ways. And the words grouped in different sentences and in a different order. But basically at the end of the day, it all means the same. They don't want to be with you the way you are right here and now. So here are the words from the lovely man in my life. In his words, he has said, firstly, the not for me comment was and still is in the context of situations and scenarios whereby a male or woman exhibits or verbalizes what commonly is known as deal breakers. This is an example where there's certain things we just can't accept relating to people's behavior, actions, or words. Now, the main difference between behavior and action is that behavior is a countless individual performance respective to expectations, whereas an action is something that is performed to fulfill an agenda or an aim or an objective. So as an example, she has very bad behavior towards her friends or his actions completely surprised me. So actions, behaviors, words, such as physical abuse, domestic violence of any sort, say smoking or obsessive drinking are just typical examples as to why, what might be considered deal breakers regarding entering into or maintaining a relationship with somebody. Now, he also said, in the case of you and me, your actions and behaviors and words were at the time very indulgent and was quite introverted and felt for me almost bordering on entitled 
as was without consideration for me, as when we'd have a fallout in opinion, you'd take yourself off and you'd go and discuss it with your friends rather than either asking for a time out to reflect by yourself and then we'd return to discuss it with each other. You would just leave and go and discuss with people about our inner private moments, etc. And that was my deal breaker. As you'd said, you were a private person, but that didn't denote privacy at all. So, looking back at this, it's true that when things would go on, I would go and consult my friends and I would, you know, discuss what was going on between us. And, you know, I understand that today, if you are in a loving and meaningful and nurturing relationship, this actually is damaging. Now, at that time, I didn't see or I was so caught up in my own mental and emotional stuff that although I could hear this from him, I still kept doing it. So it's lovely to have read this, you know, as it is many, many years on from that time. And, you know, I no longer do this and it definitely was a way of damaging the trust and then stopping doing this was a way of building the trust. So I know many of you, when you're struggling, you go and talk to people and, you know, get advice and different things and, you know, ask yourself, were you like me where those types of actions, behaviors, you know, do you do them and have they damaged your relationship? Now, it may not be that one. It may be some of the other deal breakers here that were mentioned, such as, you know, addictions, cigarettes, alcohol, and maybe, hopefully not, some unfortunate ones such as abuse in some way, whether it be physical, mental or emotional. So have a think about the relationship that you want and what are your deal breakers and what perhaps have been certain things that you have done that have caused a deal breaker for somebody else. So. I just thought I'd share that with you because my lovely man and I were discussing this and you know we have overcome many things together and we've both had to learn about each other and also to really learn to cool our skin and sweep our side of the street over the time but I can honestly say to you the relationship gets better and better and we have more understanding, better communication, and we don't cause the dramas that we used to, you know, within our relationship where, you know, you can't talk to each other because you're so angry or you're so hurt or, you know, where you just can't come back together because you're still both stuck in your childhood wounds. And, you know, if you can learn through these situations and grow and hear what people have to say and really take it in without taking it personally. Now, of course, you take it personally initially, but it's actually looking at and digesting what the person said about you and saying, okay, this is actually impacting the person in a negative way and I love them and I don't want to do that to them. So. I'm going to look at adjusting and correcting what it is that is a deal breaker for them. So I hope that gives you some food for thought. I, you know, look back at this as a very, very 
a like steep learning curve because you know many people when they're suffering or having something going on they run to their friends and then it just ends up that people get involved and then sometimes it actually that in itself can affect the relationship negatively so I hope this has helped you to get some insight into where you are at and hopefully it will give you some food for thought and I do hope that you think about two things what are your deal breakers in relationship and what have you done that has been a deal breaker for somebody else that perhaps you could correct and change so lots of love everyone and I will see you in the next YouTube.